Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Look at this. Today we're starting a new test. It's mathematic knowledge, part of the ASVAB military entrance exam. It says, if y is equal to 6, then what is 2y times y? Remember, we're plugging in 6 in both cases here. So really, we're doing 2 times 6, which is going to give me 12, times another 6, which is actually going to end up giving me 72. So our final answer here is B. Bonus question, it says, if 0.05x is equal to 1, then what does x equal? Well, 0.05 times what is going to give me 1? Well, I can tell you right now that if I multiply it by 10, that moves the decimal place over 1. So if I multiply by 100, it'll move it over twice. So that means that 1 or 10 is not going to be enough. 100 is going to be too much. Somewhere in between, the only possible answer then is B. Let's double check that answer. It says here, let's try it, 0 0.05 times that 20. Well, the 5 times 0 is going to give me 0. 5 times 2 is going to give me 10. And then 0 times both is just going to end up giving me zero. So we're looking at this because we got decimal two times to the left. We're going to move it over two times to the left and it indeed does give us that one. Question three should be a quick one here. It says the square root of 25 times x squared is equal to what? Now you may be thinking, are we taking the square root of like this whole thing or is it just the square root of 25? It's not really super clear. I would imagine if there's not a line going all the way across, it's probably just the 25. But let's go ahead and double check if our answers give that away. So if we are taking a square root of the whole thing, then you would take a square root of the front and the square root of the x squared, both of them. And since they're being multiplied, you can separate them out like that. So the square root of the front guy, well, what's, what times what gives you 25? That answer is going to be 5. The square root of x squared, well, that's just undoing the square itself. So the square root of x squared is going to end up giving us x. So if we look through our options here, 5x is not one of our answers, which means we're not square rooting the back guy. So just the square root of 25, which is that 5, which means we still need to rewrite our x squared thereafter, making this 5 times x squared, which is going to be answer C. So lots of different ways you can do number four. This is the math knowledge portion of the ASVAB. It says here to factor 9x cubed plus 18x squared minus x minus 2. Now, you could go about finding like, okay, hey, what two numbers will multiply to this and combine to this? But the easier way is probably to look through here and try to recognize right off like which ones are going to give us the things we need here. Now, notice all of them start with 9x squared um, and x over here because 9x squared times x is going to give us that 9x to the third power. So it's not going to be helpful to look at that guy right here. Let's go ahead, though, and start off by looking at this second term. It says plus 18x squared. So if I do 9x squared times a positive 2, that will give me an 18x squared. Now, will I be able to get x squared in any other way? Well, no. x times each of these guys right here is just going to give us an x variable. And x times that one was the x to the third power. So the only way to get x squared is this guy times the back one over here, meaning it has to be 9 times this positive 2. That's the only way to do it. So that means our answer, without even going further, is going to be A. Two options for a question like this. Number one, you can either just solve for x doing all the steps. Or number two, you can plug these numbers in and see which one gives you the correct answer. So in this case, it says solve. I'm just going to go ahead and solve it out. You plug them in. We'll see who gets done first. It says here 6 times the x minus 2. I got to distribute that to both, so that's going to give me 6x minus 12. Then we have minus 4 being distributed to these two. So minus 4 times 2 is going to give me negative 8x, and that's going to be negative times a negative will give me a positive 12. Now we still have that 5x plus 7 over here being equal to that whole thing. Let's combine some terms. We got a positive 6, a negative 8 gives me negative 2x. 
Um, and we also have a negative 12 and a positive 12 canceling out. We still have our 5x plus 7 over here. I'm going to go ahead and move this 2x to the other side and move the 7 to this side. So subtract 7 over there gives us negative 7. Adding this over will give us 7x is equal to negative 7, which means x dividing both sides by 7 is going to be equal to negative 1. So our answer here is B. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ABVAP.